All right, I am surrounded by pomegranates. Let's talk details. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to you here today. It's actually towards the end of November, just a beautiful, beautiful day. We're gonna hit about 70 degrees out here in Whitman. Man, just perfect. So one of the things that happens this time of year is we start keeping an eye on our pomegranate trees because we wanna know when they're ripe. We have four different varieties here on the farm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a small series. This is the first in that series of a few different varieties that we haven't talked about. I guess if I really should be honest, the first in this series was actually what's right next to me. This is our wonderful pomegranate. Um, this is the oldest pomegranate that we have here on the farm. It'll actually be four years in the ground this February, February or March. Uh, we got it as a little two and a half gallon pot. I think it was either from Home Depot or Lowe's, uh, but has done fantastic. And you know, I'm gonna say we've probably lost about 60 to 70% of the fruit off of this tree, mainly due to bird damage more than anything but I did want to point something out real quick because as we were standing here you guys know we cover our trees in organza bags I'll link a video here where we talk about organza bags but I mean this wonderful pomegranate is just massive I'm gonna guess this thing probably weighs a good couple pounds um, just nice big fruit um, but wonderful pomegranate is actually not what we're talking about today what we're talking about is kind of a relative of the wonderful pomegranate um, it's kind of a derivative of the wonderful pomegranate wonderful pomegranates are very very big um, I will link our wonderful pomegranate video here so you can take a look at that one uh, but the pomegranates themselves are just massive they taste good not overly sweet but a tremendous amount of juice whole lot of fruit seeds inside which is what we actually consume but the relative of that is the granada or granada pomegranate that's the pomegranate you see to my right here so this pomegranate um, again related to the wonderful pomegranate the size of the fruit not as big um, the tree itself the tree itself is about two years old in fact the trees we're going to be doing in the next couple videos uh, are all about the same age this tree we got from reed uh, when we got it was about a foot and a half tall uh, just a tiny little guy uh, but has grown really really well since do regular standard irrigation nothing special as far as where we're at if Lori pans over a little bit further to my right you guys will recognize those trees those are our brown turkey figs with their fall set of fruit still coming in pretty heavy uh, just starting to lose some of their leaves um, but uh, you guys will get an idea where we're at on the farm back here in this corner this is the hottest part of the farm so that we're actually facing west and we're up against that western facing walls just a tremendous amount of heat but man these pomegranates love it full sun blazing heat they do fantastic the granada is no different now size of the fruit the fruit is smaller so what I'm gonna do uh, we've got several that we've already picked off the tree it's definitely one of our er earlier uh, ripening varieties but you saw that wonderful pomegranate that was behind me uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have Lori squeeze in a little further this is the one we're gonna pick today so you can see much much smaller smaller than a baseball actually uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take the organza bag off of here we cover these with organza bags as soon as we start seeing bird damage so it's this organza bag has been on the first few months and then that's the fruit one of the ways that we know this is ripe is this fruit actually starts to crack so if Lori wants to look at the top you'll see I'm gonna go ahead and pick it now but you'll see there's cracking and that's really what we want to look for because naturally what happens with this fruit how it naturally would reproduce reproduce on its own would be that these would break open and they would actually spill their seeds on the ground either that birds would pick them up that kind of thing uh, but obviously that's not what we're doing here so um, you can see much much smaller fruit really really dark maroon color um, that pigment um, on the outside it's starting to almost get kind of dry which tells us that this thing should be ripe nice and dark too so let's see what the fruit looks like Okay, so this is the fruit. Um, I've got a knife here to cut it open. Um, so usually what we do, we like to juice these fruit more than anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut this open this way. Um, so straight across the middle here and see how it looks. Definitely chose the wrong shirt to be wearing for this series, a white shirt with pomegranates, but <laughs> let's see what we have. Oh my goodness, you guys, you have got to see this. These are this actually almost looks like a beet inside it's so dark dark red man just a beautiful beautiful color and let's get some of the fruit so obviously as far as what we're going to eat 
We'll leave this there. Man, that's beautiful. So the fruit itself, so you guys can get an idea. So those are the seeds, uh, a little bit smaller than the wonderful pomegranate seeds, uh, but man, nice dark red. Obviously that really rich antioxidant that pomegranates are known for is that dark red color. So that's great to see. Let's go ahead and give these guys a taste, see how they taste. Mmm. Okay, that's really good. Not a fan of eating the, seed, the seeds themselves. Just that aerial kind of stuff around the outside, the actual fruit itself. But man, that's good. Seeds are small, but okay. So if you guys haven't had, in fact, that one, the seed's so small, I'm going to eat it. But is if, you guys, if you guys have ever had a pomegranate before, so pomegranates kind of have um, a tart sweetness to them. Um, it has uh, kind of an acidic uh, kind of flavor. Um, this is no different. I would say these are probably a little sweeter as opposed to tart. Um, the uh, wonderful pomegranates are much more in the way of tart. A lot more liquid out of the uh, wonderful pomegranates, but these guys here, much more sweetness. Mmm, really good. And man, that is just the color. This is just, in fact, you know what? Maybe a white shirt's a good thing. The just this dark, deep, rich color just tells you that these are just loaded and jam-packed with antioxidants, which is just as good as it can get. You know, lycopene, which is really, really good for your heart. Uh, it gives you that dark, dark color. You get it in tomatoes and things like that. Uh, this has it as well. Um, you can see just, oh my goodness, just bursting with uh, antioxidant activity. And man, they taste great. So this is a Grenada or Granada pomegranate. Okay, I just want to thank you guys for joining us today. You know, just a quick video uh, in this short series that we have on pomegranates. So just wanted to bring this one to you today. Glad you guys are here with us. You know, if you haven't done so already, hey, subscribe to our channel. You know, we got a lot of cool stuff. We're here in the fall, heading into winter. You know, we've got our 100th episode that we posted. Uh, so big, big changes here on the farm for Lori and I that we really would love for you to join us uh, with. So I'd love it if you would subscribe to the channel. And hey, you know what? If you're not following us already, do so on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, we like to post things there that we don't show you here on the YouTube channel. Uh, so follow us there. And hey, if you have any questions or comments, leave those down in the comment section down below. Lori and I really enjoy interacting with you guys and would love to do that with you. So I just want to thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you. All right, so just a quick short one today because we're doing this pomegranate seer. Pomegranate seer. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs>